We're going to start by creating our machine, giving it a name and making sure that the type and version is Linux and Ubuntu. The recommended storage size is 15 gigabytes. Once the machine has been created, we're going to click on Start and select the Ubuntu disk image from the drop-down. If it doesn't show on the drop-down, there's a Browse button to find the disk image. Once Ubuntu boots up, we're going to follow the on-screen instructions to install it. If the machine hangs during the restart, close out the window and restart the machine. Once Ubuntu boots up, we're going to decline the upgrade to the newest version and open a terminal window. Using the update and upgrade command, we are going to update the current software on the system. Be sure to restart the machine after the updates are done. Once the machine has finished rebooting, open a terminal window and install Git. Using Git, clone the repository to your home directory. Navigate into the CryptoB support directory and run the setup script. After the script finishes, you should be able to use a CryptoB system. 